I was asked to balance this equation, and it's kind of an interesting equation, so let's give it a try. We'll just first count the atoms up. We have three iron, four oxygen, and then one aluminum. Product side, we have the one iron, three oxygens, and two aluminum. When we're doing an equation like this, the aluminum's by itself and the iron's by itself. So when we get to the end, it's really easy just to put a coefficient in front of these and then balance the aluminum or the iron. So we're going to leave these until last. That means we're going to start out looking at the oxygens here. When I look at the oxygens, I have four here and three here. So that's going to be a little difficult to fix. But if I put a four here, I know the four times three would be 12. And if I put a three here, three times four, that would be 12. So that would balance the oxygens. So let's try that. We have four oxygens times three, and that gives us the 12, and then three times three. So now we have nine irons, but we know we can easily fix the irons. Over here are four. We have three times four. That gives us the 12. So we balance the oxygens and then two times four, that gives us eight. But again, it's pretty easy to fix. If we put an eight as our coefficient here, one times eight, that equals eight. And then for iron, we need nine. So we'll just put a nine here as our coefficient, one times nine, that equals nine. We're done. This equation is balanced. So the trick here, leave the aluminum and the iron to last since they're alone. And then you can see the trick I used. Three times four gives me 12. And then the four here times three gives me 12. So I get those to be the same. Then I fix the other atoms. We're done. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for Fe3O4 plus Al. Thanks for watching.